Just a couple other things to note from this menu view. Um, when something is uh, enabled, it's, it's uh, showing up in the menu. It's fairly straightforward. If I want to disable something temporarily, it may be uh, something that's seasonal that comes and goes, I simply uncheck that box. Now, again, if it's a parent level um, item and it's got uh, pages assigned below it, then by disabling that top link, everything is going to be disabled and none of that is going to show up. Now, what's interesting, and this is kind of a glitch in the system, is in order to, to save that change and make it take, you, know, you note that the asterisk didn't pop up. I'm not seeing a yellow dialog box, but if I don't hit save configuration, those changes of, of disabling something or re-enabling it doesn't get made. So that's, that's an important distinction. I'm not quite sure why that's happening, but I, I just point that out because uh, if you navigate away and come back, you won't see that change uh, saved without hitting the save config button. Um, if I want to remove something, um, I mean, permanently is, is probably uh, not, not quite the right word because, again, I can always add things back. But in terms of uh, easy access, uh, you know, that, that would be the difference between enabling something. It's still going to show up in the, in the back end view of the menu, and I can re easily re-enable something. If I delete it, it's simply going to be gone, and I would have to add it back through the, the process that we had, um, we had done in the, in the, the previous couple of videos. Uh, for something that's a, an actual page, if I hit delete, doesn't delete the page from the system. The page still is going to be there um, in, in your all content uh, view, but it's not going to show up in the menu anymore. Um, and then the other just, uh, I guess, distinction is that when I click on this, um, I'm actually going to go to the page. So if I click on edit, I get the, the, the edit properties. It shows me how it's titled. Um, it shows me that file path. But when I click on the actual name of the page, it's going to take me to that page. And again, I can go in and click in edit mode and do whatever I need to do from that page view. When I'm on a page, uh, the other thing to note is that whatever menu it's, uh, or whatever uh, top level link it's assigned to is by default going to expand. So it's just showing me sort of where I am in the, in the hierarchy of the site. And um, uh, so that's just something to kind of keep note of.